Today, we're diving into a critical topic in oncology, metastatic cancer. Metastatic cancer occurs when cancer cells spread from the primary site of origin to other parts of the body. This process is sometimes referred to as stage 4 cancer, and understanding it is vital for patients, caregivers, and the general public. Let's begin by exploring what exactly happens during metastasis. Initially, cancer begins as a single abnormal cell that grows uncontrollably. When cells become cancerous, they can invade nearby tissues. As the disease progresses, some cancer cells can break away from the primary tumor and enter the bloodstream or lymphatic system, which serves as their highway to distant organs. Common sites for metastasis include the lungs, liver, brain, and bones. This is significant because the characteristics of the metastatic cancer cells often mirror those of the original cancer, not the tissue where they land. For instance, breast cancer that spreads to the liver is still considered breast cancer, not liver cancer. Symptoms of metastatic cancer vary widely based on the location of the metastasis. For instance, if cancer spreads to the bones, patients may experience bone pain or fractures. If it spreads to the liver, symptoms might include jaundice or abdominal pain. If metastasis occurs in the brain, it can lead to headaches, seizures, or neurological deficits. Recognizing these symptoms early can aid in prompt diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis of metastatic cancer usually begins with imaging tests, such as X-rays, CT scans, or MRIs, that can reveal tumors in other parts of the body. A biopsy may be performed to confirm the type of cancer, as the treatment approaches depend on the cancer type rather than its location. Blood tests may also provide valuable insights, helping in monitoring the disease progression. Understanding the risk factors for metastatic cancer is crucial. Certain cancers, such as breast, lung, and prostate cancer, are more likely to metastasize than others. Genetics can play a role. Mutations in genes like BRCA1 and BRCA2 can increase the risk. Lifestyle factors, such as smoking, poor diet, and lack of exercise, can also contribute to cancer progression. Regular screenings and being aware of family medical history can help in early detection and treatment. Treatment for metastatic cancer can be complex and often involves a multidisciplinary approach. It may include systemic therapies such as chemotherapy, targeted therapy, immunotherapy, and hormonal therapy, depending on the cancer type and its genetic characteristics. These treatments aim to slow down cancer growth, alleviate symptoms, and extend life. In some cases, surgeries or radiation therapy may be employed to target specific metastasis, particularly if they are causing significant problems. Living with metastatic cancer can be overwhelming, both physically and emotionally. Patients often face a wide range of challenges, including managing symptoms, coping with treatment side effects, and navigating the emotional toll of a stage 4 diagnosis. Support networks, comprised of family, friends, and cancer support groups, can be invaluable during this time. Mental health is just as essential as physical health, and patients should not hesitate to seek counseling or support when needed. Research continues to enhance our understanding of metastatic cancer. Advances in precision medicine are paving the way for tailored therapies, addressing the unique genetic makeup of each patient's tumor. Ongoing clinical trials are crucial in discovering new treatment options and enhancing the quality of life for those affected. In conclusion, metastatic cancer presents significant challenges but also opportunities for research and improvement in treatment. Understanding the disease, recognizing symptoms, and seeking timely medical intervention are critical steps for those impacted by metastatic cancer. As we continue to learn more about this complex disease, the hope is that future advancements will lead to better outcomes for patients and families affected by cancer. If you found this information helpful, please like this video, subscribe to the channel for more educational content, and leave a comment below with your questions. Thank you for joining us today in learning about this important topic.